It promises to be a great series featuring two of the hottest goalies in the NHL. Now at this hour, hundreds of fans are gathered just south of the Bell Centre at the Fan Jam. And that's where we find our Dominic Fazioli tonight. Dom, lots of action down there. Jamie, growing up, I had a dream. And that dream was, you know, to ride a Ferris wheel before a hockey game. And we're here at the Fan Jam, and I'm going to get the chance to live out that dream, Jamie. Incredible! I'm joking, I'm joking. We're here at the Fan Jam at the corner of St. Jacques and Peel, and you know what? The Canadians have done an excellent job putting together this pre-game festivity. I mean, it is it does feel and look like an amusement park. Just to the right of me, my cameraman David Sedell is getting uh, the booth where some of the former Habs legends are signing autographs. And to the left of me, Dave, Let's check this out. They actually have a mechanical bull. I mean, all the rides here are free. Uh, they're giving away a whack of free stuff. This is really well put together. Uh, Jeff Molson, the Canadian's president, is also on the site signing autographs, meeting some of the people. And But, you know, let's talk a little bit about hockey now. Uh, you know what? This is going to be a great series. Out of all the series in the first round, this is the one to watch. It'll be nasty. It'll be tough. It'll be hard hitting. You know what? We, we have pretty much the two best goalies in the league right now, Carey Price and Andrew Hammond. We have the two best defensemen, Carlson and Subban. But what we, what we don't have is Max Pacioretty. He's a no-go for game one. I have full details in my story coming up. Michel Terrien's daily press conference began with bad news. Il jouera pas ce soir. He confirmed Canadian's top scorer, Max Pacioretty, is out for game one. What's worse, his status for Game 2, or even Game 3, is still up in the air. It's a big loss. There's no doubt about that. And it was a big loss last week, and, and we can't wait that we'll be, be back in the lineup. What that means, the Habs will be counting on other players to pick up the slack. All eyes will be on Lars Eller, who's coming off a so-so season, or this man, rookie Jacob De La Rose. Tonight is his first ever postseason matchup. It's a dream coming true, playing my first NHL playoff. So, um, like I said, I'm really excited for it. It's going to hurt the Canadians because they're a little bit of a unidimensional type of team on the offense, whereas the Senators are the type of team where anybody can score. The Senators are the hottest team in the NHL heading into the playoffs. The Pacioretty injury doesn't change their game plan, says sends coach Dave Cameron. Hockey clubs are good for a reason, and that's they're able to deal with guys in and out of the lineup. Montreal Mayor Denis Coderre agrees. Habs in six. Now the real question. Finally, now we have a scrum. He thinks the Canadians will step it up a notch, will win game one and the series. At the end of the day, it's all about the team. We have one of the greatest defense. P.K. Subban has more maturity. And folks, this is what they are playing for, the Stanley Cup. In Rosemount, bar owner Jean-François Leduc made his own version of the cup, made entirely of bacon, 22 pounds of it. Last week we started working on it, uh, did a few tests, and uh, there it is. Three, two, one. And you know what? This is the real Stanley Cup. Yeah. This is Mathieu. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we want the cup. We want the cup. Is this the year for the Habs? I don't know. It starts tonight, 7 o'clock. We we'll be there. Bring you full we highlights at 11 o'clock. Before the end of the series, we'll get Dominic yelling, go Habs, go. That's my goal. Looks like fun down there. Thanks, guys.